Hi, Ben here from Pride and Fly Fishing. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to choose a rod for striped bass. Now, stripers are near and dear to my heart because up in Maine, we get a great run all summer long. So stay tuned to find out how to pick the perfect rod for your next striped bass outing. Striped bass are America's favorite game fish. They're found everywhere from Florida to Maine and even Canada. They are so much fun because they're probably right in your backyard. And when you think about the great runs of stripers that run by cities like New York and Boston, it's a really accessible species for pretty much anyone to target on a fly rod. And they get really big. So it's not uncommon for people to get 30 and 40 pound striped bass, although it is a little bit harder with a fly rod. So in this video, we're gonna talk about three factors that are gonna determine which rod is gonna be best for your particular outing. I just wanted to take a moment to remind you that 100% of our funding for these videos comes from your purchases at tridentflyfishing.com. So if you're enjoying this video, help us out by making your next tackle purchase at Trident Fly Fishing. Number one is gonna be fly size. Striped bass eat baits ranging from giant menhaden down to tiny cinder worms. And which fly you throw is gonna make a huge difference. If you're throwing a tiny little cinder worm or a small shrimp fly on a flat, you can get away with a six or seven weight. On the other hand, if you're throwing a big, big beast fly like this one, or worse, something that's even heavier and retains a lot of water, you're gonna be looking at a 10 or 11 weight rod. So the first step in choosing that rod is figuring out your fly size. And of course, you're not gonna be fishing just one specific water or area. You wanna have a rod that's gonna be versatile, that's gonna suit all those fishing needs. The second thing to consider is fish size. Striped bass have a very wide range of size. Most of us on a fly rod are catching a lot of schoolies, and that's gonna be the primary target, particularly for those great surface eats in the spring. Those fish are usually smaller, and a schoolie striped bass will range, depending on your definition, up to maybe eight or 10 pounds. And those fish are gonna to be totally fine to target with a six, seven, or eight weight. Now, if you're fishing for much larger fish, those 20, 30, even 40 pound plus fish, that's when you're gonna need that nine, 10 weight rod. Having a little bit more backbone is gonna let you get those valuable breeders in that much faster. And last but not least is our third factor for choosing a rod for striped bass, which is tactics. Critically, if you're gonna be fishing from shore, you're gonna want a longer rod. Some people even use spay and switch rods for this than you are if you're on a boat. On a boat, I really like to fish a shorter rod because striped bass fishing often involves a lot of casting and anything that you can do to minimize that swing weight is gonna make your day a lot more fun. And of course, the other consideration is whether or not you're gonna be sight fishing for stripers. So up here in Maine, we've got a lot of great guides that are targeting these fish on flat skiffs. And it's really gonna be a lot like fishing for permit in the Florida Keys. When sight fishing, while you're making fewer casts than you would be if you're fishing a beach, you also have to start worrying about presentation. So it's gonna be about finding that balance between a rod that could be a little bit heavier, but a line that's gonna be a little bit lighter to get that fly in delicately in that skinny water. So I've now given you a lot of information to think about when you're choosing your striped bass rod, but if you're new striped bass fishing, you might not know exactly how to balance it. So to make things really, really simple, if you're looking for that first striped bass rod, you probably wanna start with either a nine foot eight weight or a nine foot nine weight. That's gonna give you a really good balance of a rod that is nice and easy to cast, has lots of versatility, you can throw small flies, larger flies. You can handle some pretty good sized fish. Most importantly, you're not gonna have a rod that you can only use in certain very limited situations. And my current favorite eight weight is this nine foot eight weight Atlas. And it's a fantastic rod for striped bass fishing because 
It's delicate enough for those flats presentations, but still does really well with shooting tapers like an outbound short. So you can chuck a lot of line out there all day. It's a super, super light rod. Yet, if you need to get into that skinny, it'll do that as well. Before we conclude this video, I did want to take a moment to talk about fly lines because fly lines are going to be really important for your rod choice. I can't stress enough that no matter where and how you're fishing for striped bass, you really want to try a shooting head style line. That's going to be something like an SA Titan Taper or a Rio Outbound Short. These are going to make your days a lot more fun on the water. And you're going to want to make sure that you choose a rod that can handle these heavier than line standard lines and cast them efficiently all day long. If you have questions about how to choose that rod, give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. Let us know what you think about this video and especially let us know what your favorite striped bass rod is by leaving a comment in the box below. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.